hey guys welcome back to my channel so it's food o'clock today with ij and on today's menu i'm going to be teaching us how to cook ofaku now if you're new to my channel do not forget to click on the subscribe button and the notification bell so that when i make new uploads you'll be the first to see them however as you can see i am already going ahead to prepare my ingredients so that we do not waste so much time you know i'm always sharp 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 to the point so that we don't waste time learning and unlearning so many things okay so i'm just going ahead to prepare my vegetable as you've seen before i've done my banga but i will still introduce my ingredients to you as i always do so just come with me let's get cooking all right so let me quickly introduce my ingredients here i have some chopped onions and some blended pepper i have my meat stock i have my already grounded okwe and some seasoning cubes i have my grounded crayfish and i have my proteins now always remember you can use any protein of your choice so this is my chopped vegetable my ugu and chow and my already extracted banga juice <laughs> whatever it is then i have my dried fish and some stock fish so these are all we need and we'll just get cooking all right now the first thing we'll do is to place our banga extract on our cooker and we'll just let it cook until our juice is already dried like almost dried so this is almost the consistency we need you can let it become thicker or lighter any one you choose but i prefer to do mine this way okay so the next thing i'm going to do is go in with my meat stock now that i've added it i'm just going to go in with my already grounded upay and my seasoning cubes my stock fish and my dried fish then my chopped onions and pepper and the last thing will be my crayfish yes i added all these things so that i can just stay it immediately and cover to let it boil all right so now that it is boiling I, I just remembered i needed to add some ginger please do not mind me you can omit this or you can add it i actually learned using ginger to cook mine all right and it improves the spice so i'll just cover it and let it cook for some minutes then i'll add in my protein reason i'm adding my protein now is because i don't want it to get softer than it already is okay so you can add just in the beginning or at the end whichever one you choose i'll still let it cook for a little more time and add in my vegetable so now that i'm going with my vegetable you can use any quantity of vegetable you want now i'm a lover of vegetables i love to add so much vegetables to my cooking okay so that's why i added this whole quantity and i like mine very thick all right so don't forget to taste your food though you know me i already know that my seasoning and my meat stock will cover for the salt so i knew that that was what it was going to be like and that was why there was no need for me to add extra salt please do not forget to always add salt or check for salt okay see the way my soup is boiling i cannot wait to taste this so i'm serving mine with rice you can serve ofaku surprisingly with yam or plantain yes even spaghetti it shock you ba yes you can serve it with it so i'm just going to have a taste of this because i cannot keep looking at this food like this <laughs> i'm sure you too you want to have a taste of it so do not hesitate to cook it in your house cook it for your husband cook it for your boyfriend let him propose sharp 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 <laughs> okay oh so let me just dig in watch me while i dig in all right and if you enjoyed watching this video do not hesitate to give me a like do not forget to comment under the comment section and do not forget to hit the subscribe button all right that's very important hit the subscribe button thank you all for always staying in stop looking at my meat thank you for always staying in all right i love you all bye